more than meets the eye when it comes to houses. Um, I mean, really the, the biggest thing that may get confusing, the most common thing that would get confusing for more normal people and the way a house is wired would be um, lighting. Three ways and four ways. If somebody doesn't know what they're anything about electrical work and you try to explain three ways and four ways and how they're wired with Romex most people will just be like yeah what well, yeah I can't follow there's other things like I mean sizing the main like your um, sizing the feeds and stuff like I had to move a panel for somebody I moved a panel across the house because I wanted it moved, and like I wasn't exactly sure how to size the the feeder for that panel. Stuff like that can be confusing. Because you're supposed to follow all these rules for like ambient temperatures and different things. Like if the ambient temperature for where you're running a wire is such and such, you have to derate the wire and shit like that. But as far as like, you know, your typical outlets and stuff, there's nothing to that. Oh, it was the dadis to dad jokes. Okay. Sorry. I don't do work for anybody that I don't know, and I don't do much work lately. I was doing, I was doing something for somebody recently though, and they like remodeled half of a house, a small house, and um, that's when I was going through like being sick and stuff. Like me and Angie were both sick, so like I was kind of being slow to finish, and so like when. When we got like when it got all roughed in after that, they put the you know they put the um, sheetrock up, and then they went in to like do the. Uh, they were gonna trim it out themselves without you know saying anything, just to get it done. And then they like <laughs> they ran into issues and they had to come asking me about it. It's like. They said, oh, well, there's some, I don't know where this receptacle gets, fa this receptacle isn't turning on when they hadn't, like, tied all the circuits together, all the circuit together. It's like, well, that one's unhooked, so, yeah, you're not going to get power to the next one down the line <laughs> if you don't have that one hooked up. I was like, where does it come from? And I showed them, like, well, it goes here, and then there, and then there. And then the three ways and four ways... They were really fucking lost on that. I tried to explain it to them and they are just like, uh... I started to draw it out. Can we just pay you to come back and put the switches in? Yeah, okay. I tied all the circuits together for all the electrical, like for all the um, outlets. The, yeah, just the, the normal 120 outlets. There was a, there was some of the outside circuit was not tied together though. Most of it was pretty dummy proof. Like I'd already, I'd already had like the circuits tied together and it was just for the 120 circuit, like for the normal outlets I just had to, you know, the ground neutral hot sticking out and everything else was tied together but like they were trying to figure out why one one of the outside circuits wasn't working but they didn't have the the circuit tied together on the outside where it was being fed from like the other outlet um the neutral is a grounded wire 
but it's a the thing with a neutral is it's grounded, but it it's a grounded wire that's intended to carry current. The ground wire is a grounded wire that's intended not to carry current. It's just there for safety purposes. But the neutral is tied together with the ground in the first panel. Right. It's even more confusing in the code book because it calls the neutral is called the grounded wire and the ground wire is called the grounding wire. So people find that confusing in the code book. But yeah, they're both grounded. <laughs> Bunch of electricians. I guess. Yeah, the ground the 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 ground wire is like to it's it's to keep metal surfaces of devices from being accidentally charged. So if it, if like the metal parts of a device a light, say, if a light fixture if the if the hot wire touches the metal of a light fixture and there's no if it's if it's not grounded, then it won't it won't trip a break or anything. Nothing will happen. Visually nothing will happen. But if you touch it, it could light you up. I'm sure there's a lot more detail you go into the grounding, but I don't really remember a whole lot. And I don't think it's because... I think there's a misconception too that like... If you put a 120... Like if you if you stuck a hot hot 120 onto the gr actual ground, it wouldn't actually trip the breaker. <laughs> it's, I think it's more because it's hooked to the neutral. That's all hooked to the neutral that it actually will trip out and actually short the whole circuit. There's a lot. There's actually resistance in the ground, but it's something about managing the um, the actual like where the potential is. Like by sticking it in the ground, you can like keep it all the same sort of potential across the board. For the neutral in the ground, I think.
Well, it is, it's a lot about how it hits you as well. It's not fun to get shocked at all, but it can hit you harder if... It's worse if, you, if it's longer of a shock, if it's in a bad place, if your resistance is lowered from being sweaty or something. Shit like that can change it too. Is that a slow mid 1052? I mean, that's actually pretty damn good. I guess this is a good run. Didn't expect the time to be that good with that pattern. Getting between a neutral and a circuit is very dangerous. It can be very dangerous. Wow, that was absolutely terrible. Because the neutral's carrying like all the current back. It's, you can get in the part of the neutral where it's carrying all the current back that's being used in a circuit. If the circuit's off though, it should be fine. You gotta w be careful though, because if something's not wired exactly correctly or can like some sometimes neutrals can get shared. <laughs> you have to watch out for that shit, especially I think with I think with older buildings and stuff that was more of a thing to watch out for. So you can have one circuit off and the neutral still be having current going through it if it's a shared neutral. I think that was a thing with more like three phase power. Cause the um I think you could share a neutral with uh, out of phase circuits. I don't know. I can't remember. Cause some of the uh some of the current would cancel out on the neutral. I think. PB should have had CWJ, yeah. But I think like in older times people would do like 
They would share nu neutrals between circuits and like commercial and industrial facilities. At times. So you'd have to be careful about getting into a neutral. Even if a circuit's off, like it could still be carrying current from a different circuit. I used to, I'm not, I'm not currently working as a Sparky, but I used to be one for like seven or eight years. We're definitely talking AC. IBEW stands for, don't you? I'd be in everybody's way. I definitely had some asshole bosses, that's for sure. be tough. I should have farmed a super. For some reason, I didn't farm supers coming out of Red Tower. I do left side because of that. I'm gonna go left side because I've got three supers. Drops. Well, my ammo is really terrible, but it's actually pretty decent now. This isn't, yeah, I mean, this this time is not that great, but it's not too terrible. Alright, can you please? 
Wow. That was a room. Yeah, this is highly unlikely to be a world record pace, but it's not too bad. Has does like 10, 10 X factors and 10 supers, 15 supers, whatever, something like that. As a human, it's really hard to manipulate Ridley past the fourth X factor. Unless there's stuff that's still yet to be found. And if you, I mean, you can't really do more than five X factors without picking up five more power bombs, which it's not really worth doing. Even if you get five more clan X factors in, I don't even know if it would be worth picking up the extra power bomb pack in this category. the host again sings. Saw, saw the one last night a little late. Sorry about that. But thank you for the host.
This would be a sick round with a fast fast. This would easily be world record capable with the fast fast. In place of the slow mid. Unfortunate lack of regular missiles. It's gonna be pain, slightly painful. God, that's too. That was too early of a jump. drops. Oof. Got two supers. It's not too terrible. That was a good, that was a good missile drop. If I had full energy, it's interesting. extra not this run but at some point yeah Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks. You don't, you can get away with leaving a turret up or two, maybe. I mean, if you leave a turret up, you're, it's very risky. Very risky. Because if you get knocked out of a short charge or something, it's just game over. Wow, this run is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, if this was a fast fast with the same run, otherwise, this would be really hot. It'd be basically the hot the fastest run that's ever been done to this point. I mean, Fantoon luck was bad in this run, but Ridley Ridley was good. You know, you had a 4x. The continuation for the 4x was kind of bad. Um, when Ridley rises after the fourth X, if, if Ridley immediately pogo's, it's really bad, or it's definitely uncomfortable. I got caught up in that, which sucked. But Dragon was also pretty friendly, so it's good and bad in this run. Certainly not the luckiest run ever, but not too bad. Not this run, yeah. Bad drops. I'm gonna lose some time here. Got the ten though. Good execution. Just um, drops could have been better.
<laughs> Blame the steams for that one. That should have been a 4050X without the steams though. I got really screwed on that last steam. That was a really good run though. Yeah. That was more like a 4101 because I thought I grabbed the, the uh, ship, but I didn't. <laughs> Stop the timer before I was actually on the ship.